the thing that makes Outkast different from everybody else is they wear what the hell they want to wear. I mean, Andre can put down a damn bush and it'll be fashionable the next day. I mean, no matter what they do, they're trendsetters, period. And I love the way that Outkast, you, know, you can't label them as a certain, you know, you can't pigeonhole them in a certain category. You know, they, they cross over and, and it's just the persona, you know. It was coming from Nate, then they point them from the south. I'm saying so I know they're doing a lot of fucked up issues down there. You know, slavery and low employment, you know, whatever. You know, like I, it's just the bravado, the you know, the personality of them that it's different. Well, it, it what it shows to me is that there are true um, students and true um, um, that truly inspired by what they're doing there. So I, I can relate to that because of you know of New York it was a low unemployment rate. People struggling, trying to make it, you know, it was that hard shit, and I, and I, and I like that, but. Get involved in what they're doing, and they're doing it for the, uh, you know, the, the things that come, the French benefits that come along with the music business. consists of two members, Drake, whose real name is Andre Lauren Penman, and Big Boy, a.k.a. Antoine Andre Patton. Maybe they were destined to be together. Either way, it was the beginning of a long tenure relationship. Drake was born Andre Lauren Benjamin on May 27, 1975, at Georgia Business Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. He lived with his mother most of his years before moving to Atlanta to live with his father. Andre wrote a song on his album that featured his mother and talked about her struggles as a single parent raising drag. On the other side of town, Big Boy was born in Antoine Andre Patton on February 1st, 1975 in Savannah, Georgia. How ironic that they were both born in the same year and happened to have the same name, Andre. So these two were destined to find each other. Big Boy grew up with several brothers and sisters before moving to Atlanta as a teenager. Dre and Big Boy both found each other while they attended the same high school. They both attended East Point High School in Atlanta and often would engage in lyrical battles against each other. And because of that, they had a man who sped for each other. They both quickly their talent and decided to work together rather than against each other. Before graduated high school and the big boy graduated, they formed Outcast. However, they called the first group two shifts deep. They often stood out in high school when anyone was wearing star pants and they were wearing flower print shorts. They would work at jobs, party, and run the streets while pursuing their music careers. Dre drove a Cadillac, carried a clock, and got high and to rob people. Dre and Big Boy were playing at the time and had nothing to show for it. During that time, they formed a cast. Atlanta, also known as the South, was the of hip hop music because the world was ready for the changes the style of music the South had to offer. People were still caught up in the East Coast repetitive rap and the West Coast gangster rap, and the South seemed to be incognito, except for the few rappers like Ghetto Boys and Luke from Two the Crew. Nevertheless, Outkast and a few other hip hop artists like Good Mob, Master P, Ludacris, and many more will have been over the world the way they revolutionized hip hop music. Oh, I love it. Well, I know I actually have a lot of love to give you. Um, this album was made out of what I was going through at the time. Being 
get a lot of women and start to wonder why I ever like really settle down or do I really even want to settle down? And, uh, so a lot of these questions were going through my head, and um, these women sometimes you want to like, what are the intentions, you know? over and, and it's just the persona, you know, like, it's just the bravado, the, you know, the personality of them that is different and that's what you appreciate them as, you know, as a listener, as a, as a fan or whatever, they, you know, they're doing things that it's different and anytime, you know, you listen to music, you want to be, you know, you want to be turned on, you want to have a good time, you don't, you know, you nobody wants to listen to music that's depressing, so it's, that's why I love Outcast, just because, you know, Lyrics. 